let's continue on the quantum tower. But this time I would like to use another way to make uh, the shape of the tower because I want to show you how we can manipulate list by shifting. Before we use rotation to rotate the circle so that the straight line that join the bottom to the top will tilt it toward uh, another direction to make the curve. So this time I, I don't want to use the rotation, so I did it. And let's take a look what is the output. Okay, so we connect here. What are the output of this point? Let's use a text panel to show it. You can find a text panel here, uh, parameters, and then here this yellow component is a text panel. So if we connect it, then we can see what inside or what come out, out of this output. So here is a list of points. Each point is represented in terms of the x, y, and z coordinate. And for most computer programming languages, a list more likely start from zero instead of one. So the zeros element is actually the first element and then the second the third okay so the total number of elements here are 15 you always have to add one to the last index now we have <coughs> uh, this list and uh, this set of line connect corresponding point of the bottom circle to the top circle but now we want to shift the position of this point forward or uh, either clockwisely or counterclockwisely so that the connecting line will tilt toward uh, further points okay so now what we can do is to shift the order of the li this list for that we can go to the set and then list uh, the set sector consists of component for us to create and to manipulate sets of elements including list or set or text or another data structure called trees okay here what we want to do is to manipulate list so you click here now there is a component called shift list which means to shift the element of the list so we connect to this here the is L input and uh, let's compare the two list which means before and after the points are shifted so now we shift the list first and then send the output to this text panel to show all the coordinates and here for this shift component there's a parameter called shift the offset of the shift the default value is 1 which means after the shift all the positions will be shifted forward okay so the point which has an index 1 become the point with index 0 see he, you see here uh, 4.3 and then 4.3 the third point 3.5 become the second point so every point is shifted forward for one position the 14th point become the 13th point and then the first point shift forward because the list is regarded as periodic or cyclic here we have a parameter called wrap which means do we want to wrap the list to connect the beginning of the list to the end of the list so uh, the default value is true 
and the list is set to be like a periodic list. So when this is true, then the first point will be shifted and then become the last one. So you can see, compare the coordinate 4.56, 4.56. So all points are shifted for one position. So what happened if we connect the bottom circle, the points of the bottom circle to the top, but this time we shift it. You see, each line is tilted toward the front. Uh, in this case, counterclockwisely. And here is the parameter that we can change. So we use a slider, a number slider, and uh, let me type in 15. So this is a slider for whole numbers, and we connect it. And this time, we can change the shifted offset to make different shape for the tower.